And that didn't work out too well. Nope, almost. Almost. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, it's another day in the shop as usual. And uh, I left off in the last video with uh, trying to repair the weed eater that I have. Our local hardware store had the parts that I needed. And now I can actually fix this right for those of you that like to critique. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna pull these gas lines out of here. Right now I have to drain gas back out because I'm gonna replace both lines because I picked up some actual fuel line. I also picked up a fuel bulb. I guess that's what they're called. I don't know. It's like a bulb to me. So what I'm using is I'm using an alcohol bottle. Um, the reason I'm using an alcohol bottle is because I know that if I left it, leave, empty the alcohol out of it and leave it open, that it will dry of all the liquid. Okay, so now that I've drained all the gas out of it, I don't have a lot of gas. I did pick up some mixed two-stroke oil, so now I can make more gas. So the first thing I'm going to do is get all this out of here. Now this here might be kind of tricky because it's all expanded. I may just have to cut it. It looked like it was going to break anyway. And I'm going to reach down in here and grab this and pull it out. And that's the old filter. This kit came with a new filter, as you can see. It's the same filter system. Get rid of that. Now, we'll proceed to clean this off again some more so I can uh, get the hoses in there. Getting the hoses back in here is not going to be an easy task. So, simply put, you take this part and you stick it in there and it locks the hose. And then you should be able to pull it all back through here. So, that is what I'm going to do. See how difficult this is going to be. I do not know never done this before. Let's see if she'll follow. Well, that didn't work out too well. In fact, it bent the deal. Um, so, I wonder. So we are going to do that. Cut her at an angle. Now we're going to try And get this started in here. Okay, looks like I can, but I don't want to. Don't want to break it. There we go. I'm gonna make it just a little bit longer. Now we put this in here. There we go. Looks like that'll work. And we'll run that hose down there. That looks like it'll work pretty good. I'm gonna cut this much of it off. That way I make sure. Yeah, that looks like it'll work good. Now I've got to do this other end. Same length. And the point of that is to be in every turn. Okay. Now, put the gas tank back on. Bottom hose goes onto that. So we don't need quite that much. So I'm going to cut some off. About that much right there because I don't want to pinch in anything. Go ahead. Stick that back on the carburetor. There we go. Nice and curved, no pinching. This one here, same thing. So I cut some of it off. And we're going to make a nice curve right back on. There we go. Okay, now we need to do the bulb. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to pull this off. I'm hoping. This will run after doing all that. Okay. Now the bulb doesn't seem to have a direction, but because this has numbers on it, we are going to make sure the numbers are on the outside. Gas back in. About three quarters of the way full. There we go, now we're starting to get some gas. Now well, we've got some gas. Let's see if we can get her started. Let's do 
a hatchet. I know you're only supposed to do that one. <laughs> Sound acts like she's sucking from another spot. Okay. These carburetors actually, you can order them on Amazon. I have not done that. Yeah, it looks like that is broken. And that's probably where it's sucking from. Well, I don't have another one, so it looks like I will be just replacing the carburetor on this. Um, that's got a bad tear in it, and so it's just leaking gas out of that hole from the tear. I've made a little extra hose here for the next time. And we're going to go ahead, and we'll get a carburetor. All right, so a new carburetor came in. So we're going to go ahead and install it. Now, seeing how I've already replaced all the fuel lines, I'm not going to worry about those anymore. This is what the new carburetor looks like. Was it much? Pick it up on eBay. I'll try to remember to put a description of the link on, uh, on the video there. So these things are pretty simple. Not a lot to them. We'll go ahead and we'll get the air breather off. some of this gas to drain back in here and then we'll go ahead we'll take fuel lines off all right now one thing I did notice is the gasket on this one all right so we're gonna clean the gasket off really good it did not come with this gasket. So you really want to be careful with this one. And it just goes right back down into there. Okay. Now, this one came with, has a top gasket on it. Luckily, this kit that I got came with that gasket. So what we will go ahead and do we want to make sure everything is exactly the same. This one has a uh, spring in it, so I will see if possibly I need to switch out those. But we're going to go ahead. We will attach the fuel lines. There we go. We need to attach the throttle cable. Go. Then this gasket right here. Okay. Then the cover and the bolts. I'm gonna tear that. And go ahead. There we go. A good snug fit. All right. Well, like I said this don't take a long time to do. So we are going to see. We can now all right. Let's see what she does. Okay, so Oh, almost. Almost. Oh, I went the wrong way. 
the way. <laughs> Okay, something's, something's going on here. All right, so one thing I noticed is this wasn't spinning. So, it's time to go to the other end. Let's take this off first. Like I said, that, seeing this thing, I imagine somebody probably gave it to me or something, but uh, something's not quite right with it, that's for sure. Let's see if this will have the power to undo it. Okay, that's good. Let me pull this off. Slides up in there. What we will do so this is supposed to spin, but she's in she's in rough shape here. And she is nasty, nasty, nasty. Look at all that. Definitely, definitely needs some uh oh yeah, I think I found it. I think I found it. Don't know if any of you have ever taken any of these things apart. I myself have not. But there's a first time for everything, right? Looks like a lot of it is just, it's got so much grease and grime on it, but I'm not liking how this looks. I don't have any gas to try this. But I'm thinking that the head is shot. As you can see, she's wore down pretty good. And I don't think it's supposed to be like that, but I don't know. We're going to for sure be finding out. I'm going to clean all of this stuff. Because if I'm looking at this right... She's not in the best of shape here. She, her grease is not the not the best. Pretty dried up. Could use definitely use uh, new grease, and I've got some. All right, so I got her all cleaned up, and as you can see, she's turning. So now we got to make sure we get some grease in this thing. These things need to be embedded in some grease. I don't know how good way would be to grease them there. So, got her greased up. She is moving. So now, we're going to go ahead and we'll loosen up these two. And then we got to find the hole. Okay. All right. 
these up. Okay. Before I go putting it all back together, we're going to see if it'll work. Or a tight box. I want to tighten it all back together. We're going to see if she'll work. If she's going to spin, I'll at least put the blade on it. That way I can tell if it's spinning or not. Okay. All right. Let's see if she works now. Okay, so new carburetor, went in, worked on the bearings, got it all going. Now it's time to go do some weed eating. And uh, it's hot, it's humid, but if you like this video, subscribe, watch the other videos. Uh, I got more coming. Sorry there's been a little bit of a lapse. I'm working on it. Um, I will have some more stuff coming next week, and uh, be ready for that. Y'all have a good weekend. We'll see you next time.